Hey class, welcome to the final week of this session. Respiratory Care 355, you've made it till the end. Congratulations, pat yourself on the back, but don't do it quite yet. We've still got some work to do. Before we jump into the week seven module, I want to highlight the course evaluations module down here at the very bottom of the page underneath week seven. Click here to fill out your um, Boise State official course evaluation. Thanks for doing that, and without further ado, let's jump into week seven. So with week seven, of course, we've got the finals due, but we've got a little bit of coursework left. So uh, we are gonna be talking about health crisis and communication during health crisis. So the outcomes for this week are to discuss how RTs can help patients cope effectively through communication during these crises. Uh, and of course, you guys have a little bit of experience that because we've already been talking about sort of communicating with patients and caregivers during end of life issues. This takes it to actually jumping into the midst of a crisis. And we've got lots of those, uh, lots of pandemics or endemics over the last several years when we talk about the uh, bird flu, we had SARS, we had MERS, uh, we had swine flu, all kinds of these flus in the last 15 to 20 years. If you've been in the field practicing for that long, you've definitely experienced it. Massive inflammation leading to ARDS, you know, flipping patients over on, you know, proning and putting them back to supine over and over, using high frequency ventilators in unusual ways on patients, on adult patients outside of the NICU, of course. Um, some things that obviously there's good research to support, and I'm not saying that we don't ever do that on other patients, but we are doing this a lot with some of these in um, pandemics. So uh, something just to kind of reflect on as we move through this week. Uh, the other thing we're going to be doing, of course, you've, you're going to get back your first draft of the final paper. You can have all my feedback and edits to look at. Look at that feedback. Um, add to it, make those edits, that way you can turn in the final paper and hopefully it's a nice crafted and polished quality APA paper and you guys can take what you've learned with APA throughout the rest of not only this program but into your jobs, into your careers and hopefully onto a master's degree at some point if you find yourself looking at education, research or uh, some type of director um, leadership type of position. Uh, so keep those types of things in mind. And then, of course, uh, turning in the final project video. Uh, make sure you also are sharing that to the discussion board. That way your classmates can see all of your hard work and, more importantly, learn from what you're going to be teaching us. Uh, it's a fantastic thing to watch these videos that our students here at Boise State make because it's, it's information that, honestly, I, I haven't looked up in a lot of cases. There are things that I haven't heard about and having 30 of you guys out there pulling in information from your specialties in the things that are of your interest helps to expose me to stuff that I've never seen, so I appreciate it too, and I like watching your videos. Your classmates as well as you are going to benefit from watching each other's videos, so take some time to do that. Uh, most of the videos aren't that long, so um, hopefully you'll, you'll get to do that and then um, pat each other on the back and say good job. Now in the learning material this week, uh, chapter 12 of Dupre, and then a handful of links uh, here um, talking about uh, different um, pandemics that we've looked at before. Uh, so something like the influenza outbreaks um, all the way back in the, the early part of the 20th century. Uh, 1918, you can see here, um, one of them. And then more recently, uh, the MERS outbreak that, that we, most of us were in the field at that point to treat. Uh, a couple other sources here from the World Health Organization, and then talking about the influenza pandemic from the CDC. The student learning outcome for this week is teaching patients and healthcare professionals. Just kind of a primer into teaching techniques, uh, which is Respiratory Care 441, if you've not taken that class yet. This SLO is pretty heavily covered in that course. I also have the pleasure of teaching one of the sections of that course, so hopefully I'll get to see some of you in there. I know I've already seen some of you in that class in the past. We've already discussed the learning activities that uh, we'll be doing this week, the final paper and the video. Make sure that you post that final video to the discussion board as mentioned. And then it's a little bit different than the feedback module below week seven but this week's quiz is actually a feedback quiz where you get the opportunity to help me 
uh, become a better teacher, a better instructor, get the student perspective and help out uh, the course with modifications moving forward. So I really appreciate the feedback that you guys give and I'll be able to interact with you via that method, um, responding to some of your feedbacks. But I really wanna know what you liked and what you didn't like, what I did well and what I did not do well. Please be honest and help me to improve what I do. I appreciate that. So here we've got the week seven uh, final essay module. This is where you will submit your final paper. Discussion board where you will post your video. Remember you need to embed that and then also watch the other students' videos. Here's the quiz uh, for the feedback that I was just talking about, and then the final project video submission where you will embed your video so that I can grade it and provide you with feedback. Down here at the very bottom, again, we've got the same folder, final project examples that is listed right up here, final project examples. Remember, you always have this YouTube and Google Docs help folder uh, which has information about making the YouTube video and getting it posted. And then of course the APA help folder for help with writing that final draft. But at this point that should all be taken care of and uh, you're just making your final last edits. All right class, I really appreciate all your hard work this semester. You've done a great job. I've appreciated the feedback that we've had. Hope I get to meet you guys someday um, at one of the AARC conferences. It truly has been a pleasure. I uh, thank you for the patience with online teaching. Sometimes that's not the easiest to navigate with technology. Um, you guys stuck with it. You did a good job, um, and I appreciate that as an instructor. So have a great session. If this is your last class at Boise State, congratulations on graduation. If it's not, I might see you in another class down the road. It's been my pleasure to instruct you during this session. Go Broncos, or as we say it in this program, Go Bronc Guy. See you guys.